In late September, Republican lawmakers quickly adjourned a special session Governor Tony Evers called to address workforce challenges in the Child Care Counts program. They took no action on the proposal, but now that bill is finally being heard before the Senate. Political reporter Darielle Fair joins us live from the Capitol with more from that public hearing. Darielle. Yes, Brandon, the Senate the Senate Committee on Economic Development held a public hearing earlier today to receive comment from local child care providers, employees, and concerned parents on Wisconsin's current crisis in child care and how it's impacting workforce challenges across the state. Governor Evers sent a letter last week to Republican Senator Dan Fan, chair of the committee, requesting a public hearing for his comprehensive proposal following a special session Evers called in September that was quickly adjoined by Republican lawmakers refusing to consider the bill. Prior to Republican lawmakers passed a series of child care related bills through the assembly that many providers opposed, emphasizing they would create more barriers to child care if the proper funding was not approved. These federal dollars help keep child care professionals in the early childhood workforce by supplementing and increasing their wages. Important for this field that continues to struggle with woefully low compensation. Providers no longer have the resources to provide benefits or pay increases to their employees while parents are struggling to find access to child care they can afford. I spoke with Senator Brad Paff, a member of the committee who says the legislation passed in the assembly does not provide the financial assistance necessary for child care centers to stay open, stating, at the legis stating the legislature needs to seek out a better solution. Well, the next steps is that we do need to be serious. We, we need to recognize the fact that in January, the Child Care Counts Program will end. And by ending the Child Care Counts Program, it's going to be tremendous stress upon our child care providers as well as our working families. We can't do anything. We have to do something. Governor e at this time, the Senate has not scheduled any further action on Evers proposal. All funding through the Child Care Accounts program ends next January. Reporting from the Capitol, Darielle Fair, 27 News.